Islanders. Worth buying? Let me get it out of the way really quickly. My answer is yes, it is. You know, we're talking about a game here that's less than five pounds and is a very relaxing um, way to pass short periods of time. Now, we are on our first island here and we have picked a seaweed farm. And what you want to do is make sure that sphere is able to access um, the seaweed plots that you put in the ocean. Now, I will describe the game as we go forwards, but this first playthrough over the next 10 minutes or so, I didn't even know that you could rotate the buildings. Uh, it doesn't tell you. Uh, I managed to find out uh, later on, so we will skip forwards to a much more uh, developed game later in the episode. But to answer the question, is it worth it? Yes, it most definitely is. This is a really fun, simple city builder. Um, and what you aim to do is gain as many points as possible. So here we go, 13 plus 5 for this mill. And then we put down the field plots next to the mill, which gets us additional points. And as you see, all those little coins fly into the bottom corner and each time it levels up. And each time you level up, you can get another pack of buildings. And what you then want to do is put those next to each other with the sphere of influence to again, increase your number of points to get as high a score as possible. Now, if you run out of buildings and you don't get enough points to click and roll over to the next tier, what you end up doing is getting a game over and you just start again. Now we will see this game over uh, in this uh, first 10-15 uh, minutes or so, but we will go through. So now these are our city buildings, we put them all next to our city centre, and we're now at 138 out of 185 for our score before we level over and can get the next pack. So we've picked a brewing pack, and that brewing pack gives us additional city buildings plus the brewing buildings themselves. So we're getting the points, now, at the beginning, it is quite easy uh, to level up, uh, which is why I was able to progress quite far um, before I got a game over. Now, it's like this, what I'm placing now, completely wrong. I should have placed the uh, brewing building first, then placed the hops, but it is what it is, and we've rolled over to the next thing. So now we can select a shaman. Now, as you level up through the points and get higher and higher, you unlock more and more and more advanced buildings and a next island. So once you get enough points, you can roll over to the next island. Now, as you see, each one of those seaweed plots gives extra points. Now, at this early point in time, I didn't know, uh, as I said, that you could rotate these fields. So I'm starting to put them down in really, really silly ways. Uh, but I was still able to get quite far uh, before I got a game over. Which also is quite a good learning journey. I did find with this game that as you gently play along, uh, it is actually um, also fairly easy to learn what you're doing as you play. It's gentle uh, and a restart is nothing. So as you get a game over, it's like, okay, all right, I'll start again. So now we've unlocked a fisher. So, okay, we've got another five mansions plus a fishing building. Now, how does the fisher work? So if you hover over a building, see all that green stuff? That is your bonuses. So there we get a score of 14. If we move it round, do we get more? No, okay, so that seems to be quite a high score. So we'll put it there. Now we have a bunch of mansions. Now mansions get a bonus for being next to other mansions plus the city center and also um, the monolith there. So that big little tower, that gives an extra five if you're able to put stuff close enough. Again, you just put everything together and you hope to get enough points to move up to the next layer. But we've also unlocked the next island. So what you can do is you can either put more onto this island to fully equip it out uh, with a city, or you can start again by moving to the next island. So again, as you move around, you can see where you can get your biggest bonus. So there was like 12 there. I did see a 13, but I've put down a 12. Again, this was literally the first time I'd played the game. Uh, so I didn't have a huge amount of knowledge as to how to build the cities. 
uh, and what works and what doesn't. But there we go, look, so there's 22 there. I didn't know I could rotate it, but wow, 27, and I just unlocked an achievement, so nice spot. Uh, there are quite a lot of Steam achievements with this game. Most of them are fairly easy to unlock, um, but again, once you have an understanding of how the game works. But again, this game is less than five pounds, and you can easily, if you are if you just want some downtime, you know, you want a five, ten minutes, even half an hour to an hour, uh, we all know how it is with games. We have various games in our libraries, and there are games that we can spend half an hour, an hour on, ten minutes, and there are those games that you look up, and a huge amount of time has gone by, it's four o'clock in the morning, and you still want to do just one more thing uh, before you go to bed. And then before you know it, you've got to go to work with no sleep, <laughs> which has happened to me in the past. Uh, a long time ago now, uh, when I was younger, but again, you know, it can happen. So again, these huts, you can just move them around uh, until you find a good spot uh, that gives you a good points boost. Now, we only have two buildings left, uh, but we only need to get to 475. So we're going to be able to do it, and we've unlocked the next tier. So again, put down the last building, and what you can choose is to keep developing this island. Uh, so we've got a nice little city here, we've got all the different functional buildings, and now we've unlocked a park. Uh, so we get a couple of parks, we get some more seaweed plots, uh, a couple more houses, uh, and again, we need to try and put near to where the seaweed farm is, but we can't. And again, as you can see, I didn't know that you could rotate, and rotate is the mouse wheel. So if you use the mouse wheel on your mouse, you will rotate your buildings. Uh, but at this point in time, I didn't know that that was even possible. Uh, so again, now you can put down some parks and that's gonna get you additional points depending on the location. And also at this point in time, I also didn't know to pay attention to where you got the bonuses from. Uh, so I was literally just moving things around to see where I could get the most points and then plop them down. Whereas the information above does give you a lot of additional information as to how you can get the maximum number of points and the most bang for your buck. Uh, but what we'll do now is we will skip forwards to the next island. So here we go, start expedition and let's go. And you very nicely move through some clouds. Now you can see the Christmas tree there as it is the festive time of year. Uh, when I recorded this and here we go we have a new island now what I'm going to do is skip straight through this was a big island and had I known what I was doing I probably could have got a much better score than I did but here we go we've skipped forwards and uh, what I will do on the next island is talk about the development and how I managed to uh, achieve everything and how I learned how to get better at the game uh, so it gives you an idea of what you can achieve and why it's definitely worth buying. Now as you can see we've done quite a bit on this island but again I have now begun to run out of space and I'm still not rotating buildings. I'm literally stuck with them where they come out and of course they randomly come out in a position and I didn't know that you could rotate them uh, which was why we got to the position where I got a game over. Um, so here we go, you can see I'm putting down buildings, I'm running out of buildings, I'm not going to get to the score that I want, I'm trying to, 1006 plus another score, oh we're only at 1021 and it's game over, that's it. So all you do is you just go new game or you can click on the camera and what you can do is you can look around what you've achieved like this and you can take a screenshot if you wish. Um, if your um, PC allows you to do it, of course, because I found that NVIDIA doesn't actually recognize this uh, as a game I could record, uh, but what I couldn't do was take screenshots. Uh, so I actually ended up having to use print screen uh, for the thumbnail for this video, which is interesting. But so we start a new game, and what I've done is I've already skipped forwards. You can see we're at 828 out of 890. And we are in a much better position, but again, we're still not in the greatest position on the planet, uh, because I think at this point I still hadn't discovered uh, that you could rotate buildings. As you can see, I'm not rotating them, so I'm trying... There we go. So this is where I managed to work out that I could rotate. 
So I used the uh, mouse wheel, rotated the building, and that little hut fitted onto the top of that area. And again, a lot of the time you can see that certain buildings give a minus and other buildings give a plus. So again, this goes over to the green and red factors on the buildings. So the uh, lumber buildings were a minus and the people buildings were a plus. So again, I'm now rotating the buildings and putting them as close together as I can. Uh, so we get a plus 15, there we go. And again, now that we know that we can move stuff and put it into better positions, uh, we're able to boost our scoring. So there's plus 12, that's plus 13, that's plus 15. So we've got plus 15 for that and we're very close to our 890 and we're gonna be able to unlock another pack. Now at this score, you will find that what you're able to unlock is greatly improved in comparison to what we had in the first section of this video. Now the video runs to about 24 minutes, so do stick along uh, till the end if you wanna see some of the more advanced construction options. If you don't want to and you want it to be left to uh, your own, then drop out of the video and I'll see you on the next review that I do. But uh, stick with us and we will go into some of the more advanced construction options as you progress through the game. So again, we are trying to find the best location for this building by rotating it around. Will it fit on there? That's plus it all. Oh, there was a plus 18 there, uh, but I don't think I noticed it because I was moving the mouse so quickly. So plus 12, there we go. I'm happy with that. Uh, we've unlocked another pack, so we can now put down some parks but we've also unlocked another load of structures. So we got another fisherman. So how can we get him into a good position? There we go, that's plus 13. We've also got another field. So we'll go to our farming section and rotate it around. Can we get a good score? Can we get a better score there? No, because it's very close to the gold. Uh, so just so you know, that little clump of rock there with the uh, yellow rock in the middle is actually gold. It's quite difficult to tell because it's night time at the moment, uh, but in daytime it's more obvious. Now we get some parks. Now as you can see, the hut gives us straight out minus four. Uh, so there we've got a plus ten. That's not bad. And again, we have another sand pit. So a sand pit is part of the brick making process. And as you can see, we've got these sand pits dotted all over the island. But if you put them next to each other, you get a minus. So what I'm trying to do is find some sand where I get the least reduction in points that I possibly can. We've also now got another city center. So where do we put it? Okay, maybe down this way. Uh, because this part of the island hasn't been used yet and it has some space next to it where we can put additional buildings. So again, what you can do is rotate these buildings round and they do fit very nicely. Uh, so what you can now do is rotate, rotate it the other way or you can leave space so that you can put extra buildings next to it and we've already gone up to the next score cap. Oh, we've unlocked a plateau. So we can now build a plateau. We've also got another brickworks uh, to put down, but a plateau, you will see, is a very nice, big, chunky piece of ground that you can put in, and you get an additional points bonus depending on how many city centers you're near. So it's like there would give you 20, but you can't put it. You could put it down there, but it doesn't look particularly good, does it? So again, are you doing it for aesthetics or are you doing it just to burn through to the next island? Well, we've already unlocked the next island. So what I'm doing is I'm trying to build the best city possible uh, and get as high a score as possible uh, while placing these items. So there we go, we've put down a plateau. Now, what I didn't realize immediately, uh, so that's a brickyard, which if it's near two of those sand pits is plus 14. So we might as well put it down there. Um, but what I didn't realize with the mansions was if you put them on a plateau, you actually get additional bonus points for them being on the plateau itself. Uh, so again, fishermen, can we get a good score? We've got 12 there, that's not too bad, so we'll put it down. We're already a long way towards our next score goal of 1,070. And what we want to do now is see if we can find a good spot for the park. Uh, to get additional points. Oh, plus 15, plus 16, that's not bad. Can we get more? Can we move it over the other side maybe? Can we rotate it slightly? Can we fit it in? Or oh, maybe up there? Well, that's only plus 10. Okay, so our best place I think we saw was the plus 16. 
so there we go that will do nicely and then again we have our mansions to put down so we've already got our mansion location so we'll put that down the audio seems to be a little bit out of step uh, with the video itself uh, but we will carry on and again so these mansions look at that you get a nice little bonus for putting it on but if you put it over here and closer you get an even bigger bonus uh, can we fit that in no doesn't look like it plus 14 there we go so what I will also do as we move through is I will skip forward. So now we can do a tower. So again, another new structure uh, that we haven't had access to before. So again, we can uh, put down that first maybe. So we've got plus 19, plus 22. Again, moving around plus 26 there. I mean, that's very good. Uh, so I think that's going to be our biggest location. I mean, we had 26. Where was it? There it is okay plus 26 and again that takes us a long way to the next level and we have our additional stuff to put down so our parks and everything else but again we will skip forwards to the next score level so let's skip forwards so again we've crossed another boundary and we can now add a warehouse which again is another new structure uh, so as you can see, as you're progressing up the score levels, you keep unlocking new buildings. Now you get uh, extra points for market, gold mine, mill, fisher. So again, some of these buildings we haven't even unlocked yet. Uh, so we've got a warehouse to put down where potentially it might actually be worth keeping it in your inventory if you can and get past the next score level before putting it in. But look at that, plus 30. That is fantastic. Okay, so that was a big nice plus on our score and again I will skip forwards again because we've just got some other buildings to put down and as you can see the city is becoming very nicely progressed, uh, including the cockerel for daylight. I mean I think that's quite funny. But uh, let's skip forwards again up to a higher score level and you can see more additional buildings being unlocked. So here we go, we've unlocked another level and now we can put down a circus. Now a circus likes houses but not mansions. So if you hover over it, you see statue plus 10, house plus four, mansion minus five. Now luckily this is a nice little housing estate that we've built here, so we can get plus 36, uh, which is quite handy. That's only plus eight because the sphere is uh, not big enough. Again, and it is about location, location, location. They're all minus fives because they're all mansions. So our houses are all up here. We had a plus 36. That looks like the best we can get. Let's put it down. So again, another, and we got another tower as well to put down. So again, you're using the bonuses uh, to work out what the best location is. 21's a good score, and we're already on our way to leveling up again. And as you can see, the aim of this game is to just gently play. It's a very relaxed game. Take your time, put your buildings down, uh, get your score leveled up, uh, and try and get the highest score you possibly can. Now, I think uh, there is a Steam achievement, which is King, and that is for getting a score of, I think it's either 10,000 or 100,000. So you can see how far you can go with this game. Uh, and it's quite a long distance. We've already unlocked the next island, but we are choosing to continue developing this island. So what you need, uh, one piece of advice, if you think you're not gonna make the next score target and you've unlocked the next island, keep adding buildings until you've only got one left in your inventory, then go to the next island. Because if you try and place that last building and you fail to reach the next score target, it will be game over. So your next island is also kind of like a lifeline for your city development. So if you do reach a limit, uh, then what you can do is you go, oh, okay, right, I will use everything I have, bar one, and I will then go uh, to the next island, which will allow you to potentially get to a higher score uh, before you maybe get a game over. You will get game overs, and as I've said, it's, it's inconsequential, really. See, now we've finally unlocked the gold mine which again is another new building. Plus you get a jewelers with it as well, and you get a bonus for being near the gold mine with the jewelers, but you also get bonuses for being near mansions. 
So we're going to want to put down the gold mine and we want to put it near the gold. So it has a default score of minus uh, 20. So if we put it near that and that, so the warehouse and the gold mine, we get some nice extra points. And we are on the way uh, to unlocking the next score level. So as you see, gold mine is 30, but it's a natural score of minus 35 for the jewellery. Uh, so you want it near uh, to mansions and potentially your gold mine, but that is only a score of plus 7, uh, which isn't great, uh, but it is what it is. Uh, so you again you move it around till you get a positive score so we've got plus seven there which isn't great but we do have our next island to unlock uh, so again throw down your buildings uh, if you don't think you're going to make the next target and now again with shamans uh, what you want to do is get them near a lot of grassy stuff so there we go that's a plus 18 which is quite a good score plus 21 even better there we go, and we're on our way again to the next level. So we're not going to probably move to the next island. Uh, no, we will do, I think. Uh, we'll see. We'll finish the episode moving to the next island and then leave it for you guys to play the game yourselves. Go on, go ahead, treat yourselves. It's less than five quid. Uh, and again, you can spend quite a lot of time on this game. It is really enjoyable. Um, and as I said, is it worth it? I said it at the beginning of the video, and again, I'll say it now, yes it is. It's a very enjoyable, simple city builder game uh, that you can sink time into and just relax playing. And it is relaxing to play as well, I will say that. Um, I've had a lot of fun playing it. Um, I've gone through quite a few different times uh, to unlock, and I'm not showing you everything that unlocks uh, in this ep in this video either. And this is a one-off. I'm not going to do any other videos on this game. I don't feel it's necessary. Um, I think this one-off review is probably enough. Uh, but the developers have done a great job, uh, and I'd say definitely worth a buy. But until next time, I'm Know It All Gaming. If you've enjoyed the video, do subscribe. Check out my other videos. I've got lots of different video series for you to look at. Uh, until then, I'm Know It All Gaming. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, and from me, good night.